Hi, here we are discuss about your project Smart Intelligence and Adaptive Traffic Controller using FPGA. So here, the traffic management is a critical aspect of modern urban infrastructures and the ever increasing volume of vehicles on road demand innovative and adaptive solutions. This work presents a novel approach to traffic controller using field programmable gateway as a core technology. The proposed system leverages the capability of the FPGA to create a smart intelligence and adaptive traffic controller that can revolutionize urban traffic management. One of the key features of the proposed work is the adaptability that systems can dynamically adjust the traffic signals, timings and lane allocations is a response to challenging the traffic patterns of four-way road conditions with the help of sensor inputs. This methodology adaptability enhances the road safety and minimizes the traffic delays. The use of FPGA technology as a traffic control provides several advantages including high computational performance, low power consumptions and adaptability to reconfigure the system as a traffic management need and all. Additionally, the system uh, is a uh, highly scalable and uh, can develop in the various urban settings. Okay, now we can verify the concept of this project. Okay, so here we have developed a traffic controller. Okay, it's a smart, intelligent one. Okay, so it's a four-way traffic controller. Okay, so here you can verify the figure one architecture. We know the traffic rules, so it will be present in a red, green, and yellow. Okay, so as per that, here uh, this SS1, SS2, SS3, SS4. Okay, it's a sensor. Okay, so here we need to uh, measure the length of the traffic. Okay, so that is a lane uh, sensors. Okay, A1, A2, A3. Okay, so we need to measure the sensors A1, A2. A1 means it's a minimum level of uh, uh, strength here, and A2 means it's a me medium level. Okay, and A3 means it's a maximum level of the strength here. Okay, so as per that, A1, B1, A1, A2, A3, 4, SS1. Okay, and B1, B2, B3, 4, SS2, and C1, C2, C3, 4, SS3, and D1, D2, D3, 4, SS4. Okay, so as per this configurations, we need to allocate the uh, red and green and yellow uh, signals. Okay, with the depends upon this sensor nodes. Okay, and uh, we have used this reference paper. It's a recent paper, uh, 2020 smart traffic controller implementations using FPGA. So this also come with a four-way traffic rules. Okay, so here they are given a smart traffic controller, finished state machines, uh, but we have used some other reference paper for uh, this intelligence and adaptive traffic light controller as a proposed thing. Okay, so here the four way approach with using a emergency vehicle control. Uh, the emergency vehicle is directed by using a sound sensor SS1, SS2, SS3, SS4. Okay. So already we verified in the document the SS1, SS2, SS3, SS4. So it's a sound sensor for emergency vehicle. Okay. And this is a lane sensor. Okay. A1, A2, A3 means it's a lane sensor. Okay. So as per that we have uh, write up a code using this state machines. Okay. And this methods okay so the table one showing traffic pass time with sensor activation okay so initially it will be start with s0 to s34 okay so here traffic of road t1 t2 t3 t4 and t1 t2 t3 t4 emergency testing okay so as per the testings we are created a verification code in system verlog okay so here uh, the state machines process a uh, traffic light okay with the sensor nodes okay so initially it start with the s0 after that it will come with s1 okay so in the time uh, it's showing a red indication in our uh, road one okay so here uh, after that it come with a s2 so s2 means it's a road one okay uh, so here the sensor nodes start with uh, three levels okay so 100 and 110 and 111 okay so b also the same sensor nodes okay so depends upon the traffic level so it will be presenting this kind of inputs okay so here uh, the r2 r3 r4 so totally it will come with up to s21 after this s21 we'll start the sound sensor uh, nodes okay so here this is the emergency nodes okay so if the emergency vehicle crossing at the same time uh, we need to give first priority for this uh, emergency vehicle okay so that's why we need to release the signal okay uh, in the priority roads 
okay so as per that this step missions we have developed it okay so here it will be start with s0 okay so s0 it will directly come to s1 so after initializations of the all the signals okay it will come to s1 okay here uh, then priority we need to give okay the priority given to sensor a sensor b sensor c and sensor d okay so which one uh, will have a more uh, traffic strength okay then we need to give a priority here okay so here here example if uh, sensor a uh, is a first priority means okay so we will come with s2 okay after that we need to check the lane output okay so here a1 a2 a3 okay we have three uh, lane output okay so that is a traffic strength okay so here uh, we need to check the a1 a2 a3 okay so depends upon this uh, uh, a1 a2 a3 we need to allocate the time period of the green signal okay so after this process completed it will be comes to the rest state of s9 okay so here we will make a decision to go for s0 again okay so again the s0 will start the priority sensor a sensor b sensor c sensor d okay so as per the priority of the strength okay so it will be doing this four process okay so sensor b c d okay so suddenly uh, at the time of s0 okay so we will get a emergency sound signal from the ss1 ss2 ss3 ss4 okay so then uh, we will go for directly ss2 okay so this is the ss2 state okay so this ss2 state again it's checking the priority so which one come okay ss1 or ss2 ss3 ss4 okay so if uh, the priority given to ss3 means okay it uh, goes here and uh, g3 okay it's a road 3 okay so suddenly it will pass the green signal to the road 3 okay so once it will be finished okay then it will check the priority again it will go for the y3 okay so y3 that means a road 3 yellow okay after that it go for the s0 okay so this is a procedure okay for this state machines okay so as per this state machines we have written a very long digital code here okay so this is a test bench of the code okay so here uh, we are writing uh, verifications okay okay and we here we have probe mapped okay so this is the top model of the code so top model of the code we are given input ss1 ss2 ss3 ss4 and sensor nodes okay and this is a line sensor okay and this is the output r1 r2 r3 r4 and finally acknowledgement okay so this is a complete code okay and this is a simulation result from the modelism software okay so here initially you can check the sensors and traffic length okay and sensors emergency uh, priority and road 1 road 2 road 3 and road 4 okay so here you can expand this and we can check the conditions okay so here you can check it so initially uh, you can check the current state s0 so zero means is a s0 state okay so here uh, you can check s1 state s2 state so here up to s2 state it will be showing a red color okay so red in all roads okay so this is a road status okay road 1 status road 2 status road 3 and road 4 so here all the road uh, given in uh, red signal okay after that it will be come with a first priority given to the uh, road 1 status why because the sensor a it will be active here to this time okay so here uh, the green signal is a given a first priority so to it will given to the lane uh, sensors okay so here you can check a1 it will be high okay so once uh, we are given green yellow red okay so after that the lane 2 it will be high okay again we are given green yellow red and uh, a3 it will be high means okay again we are given green yellow okay so this test, test bench we are given priority to uh, this table okay so step by step the table one step by step okay from uh, t1 t2 t3 
and T4 step by step uh, executions will be handled it here okay that's why it will come with 100 lane and 110 lane and 111 lane okay so if we are use this in real time okay it will work in randomly okay so at the time uh, it will give a random uh, priority okay so here uh, you can analyze as per the test bench rules okay so here the traffic uh, length we are given from uh, this a1 a2 a3 okay so as per that uh, the road one we have tested okay so on road two uh, second priority given okay so then the sensor a it will come goes to zero and sensor b goes to one okay so then we will start the second uh, road okay so we will put the uh, road one status equal to uh, yellow after that red okay so then we will release the road two okay road two also, also same uh, green yellow red okay okay so here uh, so again it will given priority to b2 okay after that it given priority to b3 okay so here you can analyze it okay so red green yellow okay so here you can analyze it uh, the b1 time the b1 execution time okay the green signal duration was very less okay and b2 execution time the green signal priority okay uh, duration was um, it's in middle okay compared to uh, the b1 it will be maximum okay so and the b3 you can check okay so it will be more than b2 okay so uh, this b1 b2 b3 and c1 c2 c3 okay it depends upon durations of the green signal okay so we will allocate this in clearly okay after that road 2 completed and road 3 road 3 will be started here okay green yellow red okay and green yellow red okay okay so it's a it's it's moving on okay so here you can check so road 1 road 2 road 3 it's uh, ongoing process okay so at the time of road 4 okay so green yellow red green yellow red so suddenly if we given a ss1 okay ss1 means it's a emergency sound sensor okay a example ambulance okay ambulance or any fire engines okay so it will produce sound uh, right so we need to analyze that sound and we will detect the uh, sensors okay so that's output given here ss1 okay ss1 will be high means okay so we need to give a first priority ss1 means it's a road one okay so here we need to give a first priority to road one okay so here road one signal will goes to green okay suddenly the road two signal will goes to red okay wow. so here after this process completed so green yellow red duration okay so in the time of uh, road one uh, green signal we need to test the a1 a2 a3 also so as per that uh, we are given uh, the green signal durations okay after that okay so we will come with the normal state okay so again we are come with a road 4 okay so we are given a signal yellow red green yellow red green okay so once it's completed so it, it's a it's a again goes to the reset state okay so again goes to road 1 road 2 road 3 road 4 okay so in case the ss1 or ss2 here you can verify it so here ss2 will be present here okay ss2 means so we need to give a priority to uh, road 2 okay so here uh, here at the time of uh, road 3 okay so it will uh, road 3 so it will be generating uh, the priority to road 2 okay wow. so here you can analyze the uh, s3 s3 priority okay so here the road 2 processing but priority given to road 3 okay so the same procedure we can analyze it n time of duration okay so here the next step is uh, synthesize okay it's this work we have synthesized in spartan 6 lx 9 fpga uh, with uh, 
using Verilog HDL code. So here you can analyze the number of slice registers 64, number of values 167, number of occupied slices 54 and number of bonded IOB 35 and you can check the synthesis report in delay. Okay, so delay will take 5.360 nanoseconds and uh, you can check the RTL schematic. Okay, and uh, okay, so this is a complete RTL schematic for this project. Okay, okay, so this is a complete state machine. Okay, so after that, we can check a power tools explorer analyzer. okay so here power will take a 14 millivolt and we have written a, a documentation so this is a documentation okay so you can analyze the proposed abstract interactions okay and uh, related notes okay finally literature survey and references okay thank you